day. Very fresh. It is the 12th of December, 2018. And uh, yesterday, I was moved, or compelled, you could say, to do a short video on this Stephen Curry moon landing debate that seems to be ongoing. Uh, it was up on Drudge, and it caught my eye, and once I saw the article, um, I knew that I had to pursue it, okay? So I did the video, and I really didn't put a lot of thought into it. And then this morning, I came out, and lo and behold, they have another uh, mainstream article, okay? Uh, on this same subject, NASA offers to show Stephen Curry proof after he raised doubts about the moon landing. Okay, so in my mind, okay, Stephen, if if you watch the video from yesterday, I actually was led to just put in the video. I mean, it's very strange, but this is this is how things work with me. You know what I mean? I was led to put somewhere, and of course I'm not going to be able to find it for you, but the fact that his name was Steven, and that he definitely is going to catch a lot of flack for this stuff. You know what I mean? And I can't find it, but I put up a chapter and verse in here, uh, Acts 7, 58 and 59. The stoning of Stephen okay and that's what came into my mind yesterday as I was doing that video and today it appears as though the the stoning of Stephen may be underway depending on how this young man reacts now I don't know anything about Stephen Curry uh, it's been brought to my attention that he is a believer in Christ and he professes Christ and belongs to, you know, I mean, he's doing a lot of good things and he's open about it. And, you know, that's a really cool thing. However, NASA is now, you know, giving him, you know, the third degree, trying to shame him. They're spiritually stoning him right now. This is how I see this, okay? And NASA, I'm sorry, okay? I mean, look at this right here. I want to show you this. This is just crazy, right? They they invited him to NASA the next time they play in Houston, right? And you come down here, this guy said he suggested he come to Houston and stop by the Space Center. He says they have hundreds of pounds of rocks from the moon. They'd like to show him the stones. They'd like to come so they can stone him. Because, you know, how easy is it for any of us to prove otherwise? If they say that these are moon rocks, how are we to prove otherwise? You know, we could do tests on them and things like that. But really, so it's a matter of your truth against their truth. And they literally, spiritually stone you when you call into question their truth. So this is what you're beginning to see. Now, it's yet to be seen if Mr. Curry is going to step in and take the stoning, if you will. I mean, because NASA, what is NASA? You know, you look at Apollo 11. I just have to show you guys this stuff. It's just something that I have to do. You know, hundreds of pounds of rocks they said they brought back, right? Well, this tells us right here in their own words, okay, how much stuff that they brought back to the, uh, to the earth. I'll show it to you. I hope you got a little bit of time here. Sample mass, 21.55 kilograms, 47.51 pounds. And isn't that interesting that that 47 is, turns into an 11, the 51 turns into a 6, you flip it upside down and it's a 911. I just observe these things. But the stones, the, the, the stones that they want to show Stephen. I mean, think about this stuff, man. This is really weird. So, what is NASA trying to do? They're, they're trying to shame him just like they do all the other ones. 
That's all they're trying to do. And, you know, I was kind of moved to go a little deeper into this because if we look at NASA, I mean, let's just be honest here. NASA and all of its heliocentrical, gravitational, ev everything is all based on gravity, right? All their telemetries and all their formulas and equations, all the space is based on gravity. Now, what is gravity? Gravity is a theory that man has attached math to. Do you understand? It's like taking a blank chalkboard and saying, take this theory. Okay, we are theorizing that mass times weight and inertia and all these things, Isaac Newton, all the math, all the, all the things that we can witness with our eyes. See, here's where the, the magic and the sorcery comes in. Because we can witness this stuff. We know that if you drop an apple, it falls to the ground. That's gravity, right? But it's man and science that have attached the math to the theory. Do you understand? Once they have the base math that they create to work off of, and when I say they, I mean the spirit of Satan, gives them this sorcery, this magic math that fits their theory, their model, and then they run with it. And you need to be a PhD at this point just to understand the formulas. However, they don't fit outside of this real world, outside of this place where our feet are. That math doesn't exist because they've never been outside of this they say themselves, low Earth orbit. So there's no way that they can know these things. And yet the world falls for it. But praise God, Mr. Curry doesn't fall for it. He's a warrior. You see that? And I hope he pursues it. I, uh, but hey, I understand. He's being spiritually stoned by the world. I mean, that's literally what's happened. NASA, Satan is spiritually stoning Stephen. You understand? Trying to get him to shut up. And in Acts 7, they he this is just an amazing story that you simply have to read yourself, okay? But they stone him to death. He goes to sleep. He fell asleep. Praise God, huh? But if you read on to Acts 8, it's interesting because Right after that, Saul, the one who they laid their garments down at his feet, he was consenting unto his death, unto Stephen's death. And right then, there was a lot of persecution in Jerusalem, right? And they were scattered around the regions of Judea and Samaria, right? So Saul, he went and wreaked havoc on the church, right? He just did. So Philip, he takes off and he goes down to Samaria. And he's going to get down there to preach. And he comes across a certain man called Simon, which before time in the city used sorcery. And he bewitched the people of Samaria, giving himself he was some great one. And the people gave heed to him and said he's the power of God. And to him they gave regard because a long time he bewitched them with his sorceries. You understand? And this is the whole story right here. I mean, NASA is Satan. It's the spirit of Satan himself that has driven these men going all the way back. You can, you can start the whole heliocentric thing back in like the 1500s with your Isaac Newtons. And you can even go back before that. It's absolutely ridiculous. But they base everything on their theories and give no real proof. They give the appearance of proof. It is very cunning, but hey, whatever. People are going to believe what they're going to believe. I just want to, I want to pray for this young man because it's very precarious situation he's in. So, you know, it's a hard place for him to be. He needs our prayer. He needs our support because, I mean, if he starts to, you know, pursue this, they are going to start literally stoning this poor guy. And he needs his brothers and sisters to be behind him. That's all. So, yeah. The whole thing's a sham. And this poor guy, you know, 
maybe it'll all end right here and go away like all the rest of them. It's not a salvation issue. But nonetheless, I commend this guy because truth is truth. You understand what I mean? Truth is truth. And I take a look at the, look at him, right, Stephen, and it was just real interesting to me because, you know, I'm reading about Stephen. And so, once again, I get moved to do this stuff. It's just fun. You know, this is God's way of giving us some fun but fulfilling things to do. And so I put Stephen into the gematria. And, of course, I'm looking at the English because this is all New Testament Greek based. So when something I'm looking at is New Testament Greek, I look in the English, the six count, number of the man. Uh, if I'm taking something out of the Old Testament, I will use Jewish gematria. That's just how I've been led to do it. And it's been pretty fascinating. But Stephen, in the English six count, is 522, which is an interesting number. But what I really found interesting is when I looked it up in the Strongs. Okay, the 522, Stephen's gematria, to lift off. That is to remove, to take away. By implication, to take up or away. Phys figuratively, to raise keep in suspense to sail away to weigh anchor that's pretty cool to lift off to remove to take away that's stevens 522 now i looked at his last name and this is interesting too they are 12 digits apart from each other 510 and 522 which i thought was interesting but when i looked at 510 this is really wild it's only used one place in the entirety of the Bible, right? In Acts 19.1. <laughs> and it came to pass that while Apollos, we're talking about the Apollo uh, hoax, right? Isn't that crazy? It was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast. Upper, right? Let's take a look at 5.10. And Anotarikos superior that is more remote upper from 511 upper more conspicuous place in a former part of the book above higher that's just crazy stuff and that's just what i see it's how i see this stuff and uh it's encouraging and i'm grateful for it however crazy it might seem to some people this is an interesting story here. Stephen Curry, pray for this man. Pray for everybody. Pray for your enemies, you know. I mean, I know I was once my own worst enemy. So, you know, I got to pray for my enemies too. And mean it. <laughs> so, yeah. NASA. Gravity. Interesting stuff. That's all I can say. It just is. And I will link all of these things. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 